Welcome back. Each year we all look forward to new artists coming to the fore in reggae. In the first four decades, there were so many new stars each year, it was taken for granted that the music will always deliver fresh talent. For example, at the turn of the 1990s, acts like Buja Banton, Tony Rebel, Lady Saw, Garnet Silk, Caperton, General Degree, Matt Cobra, and Richie Stevens were all new artists. Since the start of the new millennium, however, the music has been hard-pressed to find new talent. Step up in, my town, make it my arrival. in four years, we have only seen six acts coming to the fore. This was about the same number who came in 1990 alone. The concern at this time is that the talent pool is on the verge of drying up totally. Last year saw for the first time in the music's history only one act coming to prominence. And some say he barely scraped through when he passed the acid test at Sting. His parents named him Adija Palmer. Up to the time he's known in the dance hall as Vibes Cartel. Guys, welcome. Definitely up to the time. Yeah, man. A pleasure, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. All right, how do you feel about the, uh, the fact that you were the only artist to emerge in 2002? Well, Mr. Williams, it's a very responsible feeling that you know, knowing that right now Jamaica people, really, the attention span of a regular Jamaican right now is towards dance and music. Mm -hmm. due to its currency, you know what I mean, it's very short. So right now, for no one said the people really put Vibes Cartel as the hottest new thing on the market. It's a responsible feeling, as a feeling that make me have to try work harder to maintain yes. this level or even go higher, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the feeling right now, that's a responsible feeling still, for real. All right, so last year you started, things start happening for you. Yeah. You start feeling a buzz in the market, and then you, uh, some believe that Sting is where they, where you're t you were tested. Yeah, definitely. Do you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. And for Sting, for me right now, and the international scene is a very good, good, good marker. You know what I mean? Because most places I've been internationally, people always tell me that the Sting cassette is the first cassette that really saw Cartel on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Regardless of Cartel being around in Jamaica for quite a while, you know what I mean? Before? Yeah, but the Sting cassette, most people that I do foreign shows abroad, they always say, yeah, the Sting cassette, the full suit of white, the whole vibe and energy, you know what I mean? Okay. So Sting definitely was a, a great help. So, yeah. so, and those who say that Sting is like the University of Dancehall, definitely. You, you, you have to get graduated from Sting definitely. before you can be truly accepted. Yeah, because Sting really determined an artist's um, <clears throat> future for the following year, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Sting right now is like the ultimate dancehall festival. So, you know what I mean? A dear, so you prove yourself worthy towards the new year, you know what I mean? Because yeah. these, the, the fans at Sting are the people who define dancehall in Jamaica. Yeah, the real grassroots people. Yeah, they are, the, they are the, the, the biggest consumers of the music. Definitely. They're the ones who determine whether a, 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 a lyric is good or, or, or not good. Yeah. All right, bring us up to speed then, Vibes, um, with the career. Where are you now exactly? What have you achieved since? Well, right now, Vibes got to tell in, in, in certain really um jamaican populated place like new york miami london vibes cartel name is like a household name you know i mean like elephant man a bounty killer right now the album is coming up and recently did two collaborations yes. one with jay-z and pharrell the fronting remix and one with Juice santana and the diplomats both of them me and wayne marshall you know what i mean so on the album crazy collaboration we have two new videos out and we are doing a crazy um foreign shows we have a tour coming up with bounty killer with the headliner, you know what I mean? In late October, through to November. So that's music. And how are the local charts? Well, how are they treating you? Where well, are you I are don't really, I don't really read the charts. Mm -hmm. Truthfully speaking, I don't read the charts. You know what I mean? I just put up music and I just listen to the radio. But like charts-wise, I don't really go after the charts. Okay. Yeah, definitely. You use the people in life. Yeah. Not saying charts. that the charts and a valuable yeah. representation of what is going on in the dance hall, you know what I mean? Because you have very reputable charts run by some good people, but I don't really, personally, I don't read charts. Okay. Yeah. All right. The, the, um, the, 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 the live responses that you get, and by the way, we must say to you yeah. that we think that um, 
uh, the show just the other day, Heineken Heat, yeah, which way no, was yeah. where you really crack in now. I'm yeah. sure that Vibes Cartel is really yeah. here to stay and ready for big time. This is how we feel, and I don't know, um, this is how we feel about that. We yeah, thought that yeah. that was the first time we really saw a different level. We've seen him on a number of occasions, but that particular performance we yeah. thought was was a notch above the others definitely would you, would you agree with that yeah definitely because 50 cent you know i mean the artist rapper right now i'm arguably the artist artist right now in the western world so you know say 50 cent in jamaica with the alliance the people come out mm -hmm. with an open mind they come out to listen yes. you know what i mean and they have already been used to the cartel performances coming up in recent months so i had was to come with something different Okay. Even the intro song, you know what I mean? Carl can I fall to I never used that song as an entry song before, you know what I mean? So it was crazy new stuff. And I love how the people responded to it and accepted it, you know what I mean? All Much right. love to the people, straight. Okay, okay. You say, and I'm quoting you now. Yeah. My message is raw, mucky, yeah. Yeah. dirty, greasy, yeah. grimy, and yeah. I want people to see and feel it. Yeah. What exactly do you mean? Well, definitely, it's a vibes cartel now. We grew in, we're born in Kingston and we grew up in Portmore, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we just bring, and break music and all is expression, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Art is expression, an expression of one's life and one's, you know what I mean, experiences. So that is what I'm bringing to the world, you know what I mean? And I just want them to embrace it because we're bringing it not just raw, unedited like a speech. It's, it's, it's being delivered musically, you know what I mean, witty, you know what I mean, lyrically, melodically, you know what I mean? So. But those weren't the words you use, man. Yes, yeah, so that's so you what. Say, mucky that's why, you know, when they listen to the lyrics, because, you know, uh, some songs that Vibes Cartel came to prominence with on the underground scene, the people know. Yeah. Like Gun Clown and If I Did Jazz Senan. See, you know what I mean? The people know what Vibes Cartel is all about, you know what I mean? So, it's just music. Definitely. Because music is entertainment. It's that and that's all. Yeah, I, w yeah, I never you wouldn't subscribe to the argument that it no, well, contributes to crime. And no, I would never do that because if I never heard that Sylvester Stallone or Anna Schwarzenegger robbed any place yet. But I always see them in movies firing shots. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mus uh, movies is art. Acting is art and music is art. And art is a representation of life see. and a reflection of life. You can't make life be a representation of art. You know what I mean? So right now we as artists, we just express what we see around us, experiences first and a second hand, yes. you know what I mean? So you hear somebody ex expressing a song, that doesn't mean that he is the person who had the first hand experience of it. But that. if the art yeah. and the artist yeah. have the power yeah. Which we to, don't, to, but, to yeah. influence behavior, yeah. wouldn't you feel that you have a responsibility? Well, the artist, well, the artist having the power over the people's behavioral pattern, I wouldn't see that more special than any other medium of trying to empower the people because I never see nobody voting for an artist. Mm -hmm. I see them vote for politicians. That means politics have a great influence on the people too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I wouldn't say music. You know what I mean? And when Bob Marley said one love one art in 1980, the most people died in Jamaica. So music really is not, has no influence on crime. You know what I mean? As far as I see it. Okay. I don't know if I'm wrong, but that's just my opinion. All right, sir. Stay yeah. with us right here. When we come back, we want to talk a little more. We want to find out some more about the roots of this artists to speak to lyrics that are dirtily, mockily, <laughs> <laughs> and all the rest. Vice Cartel, right here on stage. Timeless. Welcome back. Our very, very special guest at this time is no other than the newest and fastest rising star in the dance hall. They call him Vibes Cartel. Or is it you, Vibes, who call yourself that? Yeah, you definitely. That well, that name now, originally it was three of us in a group, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And at the time, people were naming themselves like Cruz. Okay. So we just wanted to be different. So we just seek out a name that was different, but it had the same meaning. Yes. You know what I mean? Cartel means a group of persons who really come together to control competition. You know what I mean? 
control prices and limit competition and that's what we were doing in Portmore as a crew. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean the Vibes Cartel really came about from watching a cartel movie and we just like the name mm -hmm. and it does we just used it. Alright, and speaking of crew, you're yeah. part of the Alliance. The Bounty Killer founded Alliance. Yeah. Talk to us about that. What does it mean to you? Well the Alliance, well first the Alliance, the name Alliance mm -hmm. would mean a group of people or a group of a group of friends. But since we're all artists, it's like super friends, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But Alliance is nothing but good, you know what I mean? Regardless of what people are saying in the streets. Not really people, just some really bad mind elements yes. within the, the, the system, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Saying that um, the Alliance is, is, is um, fighting artists. Okay. Alliance cannot fight artists because Jamaican people from the gay listening here and they're worthy enough for them to give you the ratings. They're going to get the ratings. Because mm -hmm. Sizzler is not in the Alliance and Sizzler is, is, is hot, you know what I mean? Crazy artists are not in the alliance, and they are so the alliance has no bearing on an artist's talent, mm -hmm. artist's future. He has that bearing on himself, you know what I mean? So, alliance is just a group of friends, and the name does stick, and you know what I mean? People kind of get the wrong impression. All right, let's talk a little bit about your roots now. You're a son of Portmore, right? Definitely. All right. Sunshine community, you know what I mean? Talk to us about the family that you came in, or you're part of. Yeah, my immediate family, I don't know, grew up with both parents, you know what I mean? Yes. Stable family environment, both parents, four sisters, one brother. You know what I mean? Normally go to school, Waterford Primary School, Calabar High School. You know what I mean? Get expelled from Calabar, where finish education at Tutorial College. Where the, the, the kids, them and the, the, the fans of Cartel, for those right now, education are the key, as we've always been hearing. But anyway, we grew up in Waterford, you know what I mean? All right. Why were you expelled from Calabar? No, well, it's just attendance and really behavioral pattern it's not really like academically speaking you know what i mean because behavior that, yeah you used to get trouble not really trouble you know we are a person who question everything still you know what i mean so okay. you we're, were asking too many questions yeah we just have a unjustified us. question no not unjustified but maybe the manner the delivery of the question you know what okay. i mean okay right. straight but an attendance still car cartel always i got through the from high school days you know what i mean mm -hmm. Going through the you know, school uniform and thing, but just hanging around because we wasn't really paid much attention yes. at that time. But just catching a vibe and looking at the other artists, even the said Bounty Killer from them time, do you see me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just you know, say, yeah, Bounty Killer that and Harry Tadler that and you know what I mean? Artists that were hot at the time, you were a poor man. That so time, you really. couldn't resist the music even then? No, because music was in my family. My uncles were DJs, they never really made it, but from growing up, they were always DJing around sound systems, and I was always there watching. Yes. Yes, so it's just totally fascinating. Totally with fascinating, with involved, you know what I mean? So yes. it was just my calling. So you knew then that you were going to be a big Most star? definitely. That's what everybody says in their mind, but I was saying that, but I was really working towards it at the same time. And knowing that I was a musician from even before I, I started even writing. And you started at 10? Yeah, professional. Not semi professionally, like going out and penny concerts, local community stage shows, you know yes. what I mean? Yeah, but you really and didn't get the, the all you know important I mean? bus yeah. until just last year. Yeah, definitely. In your twenties, right? Yeah, okay. late, late. Yeah. What kept Mid. You, what kept the focus, <laughs> vibes? What kept the, the focus? Why were you well, so so uh, confident that you will eventually make it? Well, just comparing my lyrics to to the lyrics of artists that were the the, the, the artist artists at the time. You know what I mean? Yes. And just knowing that, yo, my lyrics is on par or even better, you know what I mean? So, and we compared with the, the motivation that, I don't know if it's motivation, but it's just like to prove a point because growing up, my father never really wanted me to, to really take up this DJ thing because it was like an idolized thing too, you know what yeah. I mean? He wanted me to more be like a nine to five person. So it was kind of like I had something to prove, which, which gave me that extra drive. Okay. You know what I mean? Did you change course in your style, your delivery? Well, my style and delivery, because I grew up listening to a lot of music. As I said, my family loved music. So my style and delivery that I have now, I've been happy. I had that style from way back, like from about 97. Okay. You know what I mean? In Portmore. A lot of styles that I'm using, I have these styles from a long time. Mixed back with some new flavor. You know what I mean? So my style has just been different from day one. Inna the corner, no. Me inna the city city, like city 
Talk to me a little bit about the, um, the college. What's the name of the college you went to? It was a high school, but it was private high school, tutorial college. That was after I got expert mm -hmm. from Calabar. So what did you achieve there? Well, I just got three subjects in our history, geography and English, because I did arts at school at Calabar, mm -hmm. which involved mostly writing and reading, like literature, English, geography. So, you know what I mean? That's where I really learned the art and the skill of writing at school. That's why I stress that education. Yes. Regardless, and I mean, in all my interviews, yeah, and I you're stress the fact that, that, yeah, and I stress the fact that music is art. So you're telling the kids and art should not, not to get the right. Yeah, not to get Yeah, expect. definitely, it's not a good road. You know what I mean? But because it's not everybody have a lucky life vibes cartel. Mm -hmm. You see me? I say, if you make it, and you know that took a crazy. You don't see the crime rate in a Jamaica. And most people who are dead now are just between 17 and 25. You know, so you them are for really focus and know what they want in a life. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Vibes. Just bring us to that moment when you got the all important attention. Where? Who? Well, it was a series of this? events, you know. Yes. Because I remember, like, about 2000, I was driving with my manager, my present manager, now, Ron Butler. And I was DJing a song called Cartel Rule the World. Mm -hmm. And as I reached him all, he said, Yo, I want to kill a DJ that you in there. I was like, Yo. You know what I mean? But through the ratings, we were after Bounty Killer and thing. We drive, go to the studio, we did the demo. And Butler introduced me to Bounty and he took the CD and the next day he was like, yo, you with your body in a rare. And mm -hmm. from that, you know what I mean? It's like an overnight change okay. completely. Real overnight. I first me I see it. So that's why I say, no business like show business still. You see me? So Killer took you yeah. to and exposed you? Definitely. I was doing foreign shows long before 2002, just by knowing Bounty Killer. Yes. Yeah, I was doing. He called you on to do a Definitely. Piece. He hadn't even got to call me and just, be, just by being associated with the man got me a lot of recognition from producers, promoters and because I had done been doing the underground work you know what I mean, everything just culminated into one you know what I mean, explosion which was the, 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 the collaboration with me and Wayne Marshall Alright, and you're signed now by Green Sleeve Records yeah. in London as yeah. opposed to VP in the US Why? Why? Well, VP to me, I don't like the operation, the mode of operation at VP. VP got too much artists to concentrate on right now. You know what I mean? So that was your choice? Yeah, because Cartel needs special attention. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, so I'd, like any other person. So, Green Sleep right now, I'd say I'm the only artist. You know what I mean? Me, you are 21, but you know what I mean? Two artists at a big major label, they can find time. You know what I mean? So you went and searched the scene, vibes and... Yeah, I got, I, got, I got offers from both labels. Yes. And I just, we just opted to, to take the green sleeve contract. Could you tell us a little about the contract? Well, the contract is just a, a three album contract. You know what I mean? Over what time? No, it has no time. It's just three albums. Okay. If I can give them three albums in one day, the contract it. is up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like one a year for the next few No, years, no, no. Actually, we want to start working on the album now for a March release. Okay. Yeah, because we ain't easing up. So it's all it's it's all go, but but at the moment dance all is happening in the states and the yeah. VP signed artists are happening. Yeah. Something yeah. I go on for them. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that? Definitely. But yes. you know you're the first time for everything. Yes. You know what I mean? So you see sleeve able to do and push you the same way that. Definitely that. because they have the cloud, they have the same recognition as VP. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So and they they have their market. Okay. Because the European market is a big, very viable commercial market, just like the American market. Only thing the American market gets more attention from Jamaica because of the, 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 the media, Absolutely. the electronic media and, and the print media, but the markets are just the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the work. And we, I've been doing a lot of work in America by myself without the help of any label, American okay. label. Yeah. So you're all poised right now, Vibes Cartel, to take it to the highest level. Yeah. And use an, an artist, a DJ can A DJ, it. yeah, definitely. Straight. Well, my friend, you sound the part. We haven't said enough respect. But talk to us quickly before you go about your own family. You, you made a family yet? We well, have a son. We have to tell them girls out there about your life. You know? Tell the girls, oh, tell them about my life? Yes. I've, well, them know my life, you know, because they see me out and know everything about me, you know. If yeah. them can't get me, them just get butt line, you know. Okay. So, <laughs> so, 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 so
Yeah. AKA don't play. But me have my baby mother still and my son, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As the song suggests, Carl can I in a July, the pressure upon the we apply and in a April baby I cry. So my son born April, you know what I mean? Jaim. Straight. <laughs> Vice <laughs> yeah. got a nice chat, sir. Up to the we time. Boys and we're looking Real. forward to the big times for Real. you. Up to the time. And how you'll deal with it when it comes. Definitely. And this is definitely the time, if, if there was ever a time, when dancehall artists should rise up, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would. Because the world is calling, eh? Yeah, and it's calling for the raw dancehall music, not like one time when we had to cross over on hip hop beats. Yes. It's calling for the raw dance all music and that's great, you know what I mean? So that means the music that is created in the backyard, down a water food around a water house. And that are the music the people want in New York City and in London, in Europe, in Belgium, Sweden, Belgrade. You know what I mean? So I just <laughs> You see me I say? Vice Cartel right here on stage. There you have it. A man who is very, very poised, very focused, as you can see, and <laughs> ready lyrically and every cali. For the yeah, because we smoke the Kali. <laughs> Music.